Farmers are really feeling the impact of COVID-19 and News Leader 9. Samantha Serban joins us live in Columbus tonight. Samantha, you talked to agriculture experts and farmers today. So what exactly are they facing? Jason, big commercial farms are suffering. Many farmers having to dump their milk, trash their strawberries, and turn their tomatoes over into the soil. Here in the Chattahoochee Valley, we have more small local farmers who say business is booming right now. Cook's Family Farm in Harris County is up and running with business better than ever during the coronavirus pandemic. Serving up strawberries, eggs, and lettuce, you pick style. Owner Robert Cook says the farm has been open to the public since 2015, encouraging the community to experience the benefits of shopping local. I also think the food's better for you, and I also believe it's a whole lot fresher. It's going to taste better. As COVID-19 is keeping people inside, Cook says you pick farms are doing well. In fact, he's almost booked solid for the strawberry season. Hey, here's a chance we can get out of the house with the kids and let them get out in the sunshine, have a good time where it's still safe. I'm not, they're not close proximity to anybody. The field's divided into four small fields. Each, sec, each person or group has their own section to pick, so they're not near another group that's picking. Many large commercial farmers don't share the same success as smaller family farms like Cook's. If you're marketing to a commercial market, say schools or restaurants, uh, that's been very negative because, of course, you know the schools are closed down uh, and restaurants are closed down. So a lot of those producers are having to destroy their crops or just discard them. As children run down the aisles with smiles on their faces and buckets in their hands, Cook recalls his favorite reason for allowing families into his farm. Watching families, especially families with young kids, come out here and just have a blast. You know, little girls coming out with their faces red from strawberry juice little baskets full of strawberries and little boys with muddy feet and strawberry juice on them. That, that's the thing I get out of it the most. And uh, that's kind of what you get on a, in a little farm experience like this. Cook says the best part about shopping from local farms right now is avoiding going to the grocery store and getting too close to other people. Reporting live in Columbus, Samantha Serban for WTVM News Leader 9. Hopefully we can get things back moving for these farmers soon. All right, thank you very much, Samantha.